Hey guys, so Xiaomi has revealed a new phone that may have come from its effort to develop a foldable prototype. It's called the Mi Max Alpha and it's one upping the first Mi Max by having a surround screen that literally wraps around its body. Company says its screen to board ratio is 180% and the parts not covered by a display. The top and bottom of the phone, in other words, is made of arrow grade titanium that's apparently lighter than stainless steel. While the phone's defining characteristic is its wrap around screen, it has another standout feature a 108 megapixel camera that can capture photos with a 12032 by 9024 pixel resolution. That means it will be able to make the same quality of pictures, medium, format cameras are capable of. It also has a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera with 1.5 cm super macro photo graphic capabilities as well as a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with 2x optical zoom and dual PG focus. But it doesn't have your standard front facing camera because it doesn't need one, its rear camera is still in front of the screen after all. The trade off is a black band where the camera is mounted that runs vertically across the device making the back side screen a bit smaller than the front. Since the phone is almost all screen, it also doesn't come with physical buttons and has pressure sensitive side instead. Its other components are hidden underneath the display as well, including the fingerprint reader and an acoustic technology that replaces the typical earpiece and speaker. Inside the device, you will find a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus chipset, 12GB of RAM and 512GB of storage. It already has 5G radio bands for all three major carriers in China and comes with a 4050 mAh battery with 40 watt fast charging capability. While Mi Max Alpha may seem like a concept or a prototype at most, Xiaomi says it's already in small scale production and that it's launching in December, so it's unclear if it will be available outside China at the same time. You may want to ready your wallet if you are interested because it has a rather hefty $2810 price tag, making it even more expensive than the Samsung Galaxy Fold. Aside from the components themselves, its pricing likely came from its complex assembly method. It requires the manufacturer to place each layer on top of the other one by one, starting with its internal assembly, then its laminating display, its touch panel and tough protection layer.